welcome to US Computer Solutions for another how-to tutorial. My name is Joey and today I'll be showing you how to create a bootable Windows Server 2019 USB flash drive using Rufus. The first thing that we are going to do is download Windows Server 2019 ISO. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to get that. After that website is opened, we're going to click on Windows Server 2019 Essentials. It's just more common. And we're going to click on continue. You're going to fill up your information here. And then after that, you're going to get the download ISO link. Click on download and wait for it to download. Now I've already gotten it to download. The second thing that we are going to do is we are going to download Rufus. Rufus, for those of you who don't know what Rufus is, Rufus is a bootable USB drive creator. It's a very easy way to create bootable USB drives. You can use this for any Windows ISO. All right, you're going to scroll down below. You're going to download Rufus 3.8, for example, depending on the version, whatever version is new, you download it. The newest version for me is 3.8. So I downloaded that. And I'm going to run Rufus. Now, make sure that your USB is plugged in. I do recommend 16 gigabyte USB for this process to be completed in a healthy way. Now, boot selection, disk or ISO image. We're going to click on select over here. Then we are going to choose the ISO image that we downloaded. Click on open. Okay. And this is the volume label. It's going to ask if you want this GBT or MBR. We're going to keep it on GBT. So this is going to be a UEFI setup. It's not going to be a legacy setup. It's only going to be a UEFI setup. So we just want to be clear because it's for newer systems. There is a way to set it up legacy. If you are interested in knowing how that is done, inform me in the comments below that you want to know how to set it up as legacy. But for now, I'm going to set it up as UEFI and move forward with the video. Now, if you reached the video so far, please consider subscribing to our channel. All right, I'm gonna change the file system to NTFS. It is actual default, it's fine, but it just saves more space when it's FAT32. And then we are going to start the process by clicking start. It's gonna give you a warning saying all data on this device, it's okay. That will be formatted or destroyed, it's fine. Unless you have important data, you don't want that to happen. I will fast forward this video for a faster process. All right, there you have it. It says that we have finished the installation. We're going to click on close. We're going to close this. I am going to verify that the files have been installed. I okay. click on setup. This is just a test. You don't need to set it up on your Windows computer, of course. So this is what it is giving me. Windows Server 2019 setup. So the files are verified. And all you have to do is plug it into the server or the desktop that you want to make it as a server. And that's it. There you go. All right, guys. Well, I do thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and see you again next time.